Hey guys, it's Dream here with another speed run. Oh my gosh, I just found a diamond egg portal. That's so rare. I've never seen that before. There are a lot of cheaters in Minecraft speed running, but I think I've found the biggest ones yet. And they're working together. This runner, whose name is Mystrix, spawns in the middle of nowhere on a deserted island. Most speedrunners would end their run right here, but Mystrix isn't like the other runners. As he's sailing away from the island, there's an awkward cut in the recording which just barely reveals that the runner used a command to locate the nearest village, which he quickly navigates to. Once there, Mystrix runs directly to a blacksmith which inside contains everything he needs to build a nether portal, none of which is possible blacksmith loot and was clearly planted there. He makes a portal and enters the nether where he once again spawns in the middle of nowhere before strangely falling into the lava next to him and almost dying. But the damage randomly just stops, allowing him to slowly swim all the way to the land. Next, he quickly locates a fortress where he walks around this corner here and casually picks up a blaze rod from the ground. He grabs some more blaze rods and then after spending five minutes searching, finally finds a bastion with only a single piglin in sight. Here's where things get really interesting though. The runner loots the room's chest, which by the way has a suspiciously large amount of gold, and then proceeds to quickly leave the room before returning and finding a whole new set of loot in the exact same chest. But did you notice that? If you pay close attention to the corner of the screen, you'll spot what is clearly another player hiding in the shadows. And no, it's not Herobrine. After a quick cut in the recording, we can just barely see in chat that the mysterious player changed their game mode back to spectator, showing that this is likely Mystrix's friend secretly helping him out. Let me draw your attention though to the name of the hidden player, Trummies. When I first noticed this, I did some hunting and what do you know, I found a YouTube channel with the exact same name, featuring an interesting speedrun of its own. In the run on Trummy's channel, he instantly exposes himself by spawning in render distance of a woodland mansion, something that is impossible as a mansion can almost never generate less than 10,000 blocks from the world spawn. Trummy seems to know where to find all of the mansion's best loot, but alongside all of the normal loot, he finds quite a few obsidian. And even though there are a ton of items that can spawn in mansions, obsidian is not one of them. The runner is now able to build a portal, but seemingly doesn't have anything to light it with, until his game randomly lags a bit, and afterwards he suddenly has a flint and steel. Very clever. Once in the nether, the runner heads in a very specific direction that he clearly determined before the run, something that's made even more clear by this area he crosses that's supposed to look natural but was obviously created by him. He eventually ends up in an area with a few piglin who he lures into a hole for trading, three to be exact. But after throwing them some gold, he walks away to mine more and when he returns, there are now six piglin in the hole. What? From the trading, the runner gets not only plenty of ender pearls, but blaze rods too, which is obviously not possible, and eliminates the need for him to find a fortress. So naturally, he just goes back to the overworld. Trummy starts heading towards the stronghold, but makes a strange detour through a snow biome where he fills an entire row of his inventory with snowballs. Why? Well, you'll see. Once he continues his search for the stronghold, the runner begins to head to random coordinates and throws an eye from each exact location, making it seem like he's strategically triangulating or locating the stronghold, while in reality, it's just completely random. But either way, he still eventually finds and mines right into the stronghold, which I'm sure he definitely didn't already know the location of. Once in the end, you can clearly see that all of the obsidian pillars are shorter than they're supposed to be. This makes it really easy for the runner to use his hundreds of snowballs from earlier to destroy the remaining crystals, all of which he ends up needing because his aim is pretty bad. But notice how each time he destroys a crystal, the dragon loses a decent chunk of health, resulting in it only having half of its health by the time they've all been destroyed. Very interesting. In another video on this same new channel of Trummies, he spawns in alongside a message saying that he joined the game, showing us that he's on a server. Hmm. He also already has some hunger points missing, clearly showing that this isn't a new world. He's right next to a village where once he gets closer, you'll notice that there are quite a 
few eggs on the ground. Obviously not possible in a fresh world, but will come in handy later on. Trummies enters the village's igloo, where on the top floor there is a villager, something that is normally supposed to be underground. And of course, the villager is already leveled up quite a bit, allowing Trummies to trade some emeralds he found for an enchanted iron axe. But strangely, he seems to somehow have the glint of the enchanted item disabled, which seems really random, but I promise will make more sense later. He leaves the village and makes the strange decision to enter a nearby cave, where while looting a mine shaft, Trummies finds a dungeon. He of course mines the spawner, which drops iron? Yeah, that's not supposed to happen. Now he's ready to head to the nether and quickly discovers a ruined portal, where in the chest there is not only the perfect amount of obsidian to complete the portal, but also a golden sword. And if we slow down the video, we can just barely see that it has looting five. A totally impossible enchantment considering looting can't naturally go past level three. Trummies obviously doesn't want us to know about this enchantment, explaining why he disabled the enchantment glint, but nothing gets past me. He heads into the nether, where thanks to his looting sword, he is able to get a ton of blaze rods incredibly quickly. He needs to find a bastion next though, which he seems to not have planned for. So there's a quick cut in the recording and afterwards we can just barely see in chat that he switched his game mode to survival, showing that he likely switched game modes and located a bastion. This of course is confirmed immediately after when he walks directly to a bastion, inside of which there are a ton of piglins, where once he's trading with them, he seems to get pearls way quicker than normal, suggesting that he's likely tampered with the drop rates. Now that he's ready to return to the overworld, Trummies coincidentally finds a total of 10 obsidian and bastion chests, allowing him to build and head through a portal. Considering his large number of eyes, Trummies takes no liberties when finding the stronghold, where once he's there, he mines straight down and ends up right in front of the portal. He enters the end where he uses the eggs he picked up earlier in the run, to take care of the crystals. But when he starts to hit the dragon, he seems to deal quite a bit of damage, like more than he should be. If you pay close attention to what's happening though, it's pretty clear that there are actually just two different people attacking the dragon. And guess who the second is? Mistrix, Trummy's friend who he helped cheat earlier in his own run. So we know these two are working together, but there's more. When Trummy's closes Minecraft after his run, he briefly reveals his desktop, which yes, is very interesting, but there's more to this. In a totally different video on a totally different channel with a totally different identity, this totally different speedrunner starts his run by revealing his desktop in the exact same way. And yes, they're the same desktop. This is Trummies on a new channel. The run starts with the loading screen cutting right to Trummies running, showing that there was a blatant cut in the recording, something that explains the desert temple he's able to run directly to. He doesn't even grab wood first. Oh, well, that's fine, because in the temple, he finds sticks and planks, alongside a shield and a flint and steel, none of which are possible. Next, he runs right to a patch of trees with a beehive and clicks the beehive to open it like a chest. Uh... Oh, and in the beehive, there are golden apples. Okay, that's creative, but definitely not a thing. He has pretty much everything he needs, so he walks directly to a conveniently located ruined portal that isn't quite complete. Trummies doesn't have any obsidian to finish it, but after making the strange decision to mine this crying obsidian that's in the way with a stone pickaxe, he suddenly has obsidian in his inventory. He's now able to finish the portal and enter the nether, which has clearly already been generated because the lava has already flowed all the way down, whereas in a freshly spawned nether, the lava will start all the way up at the roof. It makes sense why he's already been here once he walks straight to a bastion, where he finds an absolutely insane amount of gold. And, uh, blaze rods? In a chest? That's not how that works. After quickly trading his gold for pearls, he builds a portal which takes him right inside a brand new desert temple, indicating a pretty obvious cut in the recording. He doesn't loot any of the chests, though. Instead, he just mines straight down and right into the stronghold, of course. But here's where things get real really interesting. Once Trummies finds the portal, you'll notice that it has five eyes in it, which aside from the fact that this only has a 0.38 chance of occurring naturally, Trummies doesn't 
doesn't have enough eyes to complete the portal. In fact, he's one short. But after doing some quick crafting, he takes another look and now there's six eyes, the perfect amount. This makes a whole lot of sense once you notice the invisibility particles here, which indicate that another player placed the additional eye in the portal. Yeah, you know the drill at this point. Just like the last run, Mistrix is helping Trummies. This happens once again once Trummies enters the end and realizes he doesn't have enough beds to kill the dragon. But after a weird glitch in his recording, he has been given a ton more thanks to Mistrix. So these two must just be the perfect duo of cheaters. I mean, they've helped each other cheat in at least five different speedruns on three different YouTube channels, always lurking in the background of the other one's speedrun. I guess cheaters stick together. Make sure to subscribe for more fake speedrun videos.